What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy Goblin, and today we are coming in with a hoot and a holler, a true banger, if you will. Today we're coming in with a story talking about the time that I ate 1600 milligrams of edible THC. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you do. And also, I want to apologize for the inconsistent upload schedule the past uh, week or so. I was actually up in a hotel in my old hometown, linking up with some homies. Those of you guys who tune into the streams uh, probably got to see a few streams with the homies, actually. Uh, making some content with them, and I also got a new car. So if you guys want to see that, hey, it's posted on Instagram, baby. Link will be at the top of the description. Smack that follow button, baby. Get me to 40K, dude. I might suck you. Hey, it would be nice, dude. I really want 40K. Thank you. But without further ado, we're back on the regular schedule here, right? So it'll be an upload the day after tomorrow, streaming every day, baby. You know what it is. Back on the grind. Hey, let's dive right into it. So those of you guys who are my live stream viewers actually got a glimpse into this story because I did a live stream while I was high as fuck on this shit. I did a live stream like right when it hit me, right? I, I, I ate this shit and then I went live. So we'll get to that part in a little bit. But let's backtrack a little bit from that. So uh, I don't remember exactly how long it, ago it was. I feel like it was like a month ago, actually. Damn, time's been flying on quarantine, dude. I don't even remember dates because every day is the fucking same. It's like Groundhog Day, dude. This shit sucks. But either way, so I, I wake up one day and I, I faithfully check my dispensary's menu every day, right? Because A, the selection's kind of limited because I'm in Illinois, right? So rec just got legalized here and everyone is buying weed because everybody's home. So like it's it's been kind of a shortage, dude. Like the menus are much more limited than they were even two months ago, you know? But I wake up one morning and I check my local dispensary's menu and they've got some RSO on the menu. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what RSO is, it stands for Rick Simpson Oil, and it is basically an edible concentrate. It is, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone who, like, isn't a very experienced smoker, because it is just the worst tasting shit ever. Like, you have to actually just love how weed tastes to put up with this. If you are, if you're one of those people who, like, oh, I, I get the artificial carts because I don't like the taste, or, like, you know, like, you only eat edibles and, like, you know, you hate the taste of weed, RSO is your worst enemy, right? But if you're a guy who just likes to get stoned, you like your shit all natural, RSO is the way to fucking go when it comes to edibles, right? So, typically Illinois has a, or not typically, just the rule in Illinois, it's a really stupid one, is recreationally, the edibles are only allowed to be sold in up to 100 milligrams of THC per container, which, at least for me, I'm a bigger guy and I smoke a lot, that dose is nothing, like, I might get buzzed if I slam the container, but that's fuck all, right? However, RSO is a loophole to that because it is it is edible, right? Like, it hits you the same way as an edible. Your body processes it just like an edible, but it is technically a concentrate. So dispensaries sell RSO in, like, proper dosages. Like, each syringe, right, one gram of RSO, uh, had about 800 milligrams of THC in it, right? So it was a very clear, like, no-brainer. If you're going edibles in the state of Illinois from a dispensary, RSO is the way to fucking go, right? 100%. But also, uh, hey, a little, little bit of info for all you youngins out there who maybe haven't gone to the dispensary yet. Listen, if you have a good street weed plug, fuck the dispo weed, right? Right now in the state of Illinois, it's taxed. I'm not saying this, this applies across the country, just in Illinois. The weed here is taxed. The wax is really good, but only if you get it from a company called Revolution, right? Here's my dispo tips for all you youngins out there, right? The edibles in my opinion, are the only thing that I fully advocate for from Dispos. Even with the 100 milligram dosage cap, I still advocate for dispensary edibles over street edibles all day. Simply because the Dispo edibles are made by fucking nerds, right? Like These are, these are dorks with crazy expensive kitchen equipment who are like passionate about getting fire fucking edibles, right? So they're not like cooking in mom's kitchen with the windows open and the ceiling fan on, uh, making some like really low quality oil to make their fucking brownies with, right? Right? This shit's the real deal. So th that's just a little tidbit of info from you guys, right? The edibles, only thing really worth getting, including especially the RSO. So me seeing that they've got these gram syringes of RSO on the menu, I, f I book my appointment immediately, right? I book my shit right there, set my time slot, you know, because all the dispensaries are making you like schedule an appointment to come pick up now. And I get over there for my time, right? I line up at the dispo and listen. 
I paid the tax, all right? A lot of you guys out there are probably going to cringe when I say this price. Uh, I paid over 100 something. Like, oh, it was like over like 130 or $40 after tax. I think it was almost 150 actually, after tax. Uh, which, for Illinois, for two grams of RSO, that is like, for Illinois Dispo prices, that is a good deal. For any other legal state, that is horrible, right? Illinois prices are so jacked right now, it's insane. And they're, they're like not getting better whatsoever. But either way, so uh, I'm at the Dispo, you know, I go through the line, I pick my shit up, and I, I go in pretty much every day. Not every day, but, like, I'd say, like, at least four days a week I'm at the dispensary, right? Because I like trying all the different stuff they have for streams and stuff, right? So they know my name, you know, I go through, they call my name up, and I'm talking to the cashier guy about the RSO. He's like, oh, dude, we finally got this shit in, dude. He's like, I put some on my cereal this morning. I'm like, I I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, dude, that sounds fucking awful, like, RSO in your cereal? That sounds rancid, right? But I didn't care, right? And I was also really excited about this because this was a restock of the RSO. They had some uh, a couple weeks prior, but they were only selling half-gram syringes. This was a restock and of the full-gram ones. And the half-gram ones sold, like, like, they were sold out same day. They were gone fast as fuck, right? So I was hyped to get these, right? I'm talking to the guy. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I, I just put it on fucking bread last time and smacked that shit with a little bit of ham, you know? And we're kind of talking about our methods. I, I, you know, say goodbye to the guy, leave the dispo, right? Very friendly faces there. Hop back in my car, go back home. And now I got to figure out how to consume the shit. Because you can technically just, like, drop it on your tongue. But it's very unpleasant. It coats your entire mouth with just this thick layer that you can't get rid of no matter how much water you swish around and that taste just lingers so for me rso is kind of like shrooms you need something to put it on to get it down the hatch quickly right you don't want to be chewing on it too much you know so i'm thinking to myself and I, I go over to the grocery store right and i'm looking around and i'm at fucking walmart i don't know how stoned i was to think this was a good idea but I got the, like, Walmart... Walmart has, like, they make this, like, sushi. It's, like, this really cheap, fake sushi. But when you're stoned, it's actually, like... It's, like, one of my, like, little, like... I tell nobody about it, guilty pleasure snacks. The Walmart fake sushi, low-key, when you're fucked up, it's okay. It's, like, five bucks, dude. They're fake California rolls. I'll, I know everything in there's not real. I don't care, dude. I'm fucked up, and it was five dollars. I'm in, right? So... I grab one of those, you know, and I, I go check out, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, this could work. If I just put the RSO on each of the pieces of sushi and then I just slam it down, it would be easy. I don't have to take maybe one bite of the sushi, if even, you know, like there's some some smaller pieces in there. I can maybe just down the hatch straight up, you know, but man, we'll, we'll see how it goes, right? So I get home, you know, I sit down at my desk. I bust out these syringes. I open up this thing of sushi and I... I don't know what it was, but I just didn't really, like, process how this was going to taste. Like, there was not one point in my mind where I was like, oh, dude, putting uh, putting wax on top of fish probably is not going to taste good. I was just like, bet, man. Let's fucking go. So <laughs> I, I'm taking my syringes, and I, I'm akimbo with them. I've got one in each hand. I'm just loading up these fucking pieces of sushi with it, dude. And it, it it's looking like a monstrosity. It's literally looking like someone just shat on my sushi, bro. It, like, RSO is not, like, clear. It is very dark, right? It's very dark. It almost like if you were to see RSO and not know what it was, you'd look at it and be like, damn, that's the worst wax ever, bro. You paid 10 a gram for that. Like, but once you know what it is, you understand, right? So either way, I put it all on the sushi and I'm like, okay, bet. We're looking good, right? I take this first piece of sushi. I boot I boot up a YouTube video to watch. Down the hatch. First one's fine. The second one, I take a bite of it because it was a bigger piece. And everything fell apart. Now listen, with the sandwich, it was a lot easier because the sandwich I put the RSO on, right? And I took a bite and the RSO was trapped between pieces of bread. So like it was much easier to get down and it helped to reduce the amount that got stuck in my mouth and my teeth. With the sushi, my teeth just came into direct contact with the RSO. And as soon as that happened, it just coated my whole mouth, bro. It, it like... For those of you guys out there who have eaten RSO, dude, you guys all understand, like, listen, there is nobody here who's going to be like, oh, yeah, I, I enjoy the taste 100%. Some people like it more than others, but it's not something you would eat if there was no weed in it, right? Like, it's not something you just pop on your tongue as a fucking snack, right? We're all just there to get high, and we suck it up for the taste, right? 
So I take this bite. This shit coats my mouth. And I'm like, oh my fucking god, dude. This is horrible. But by that point, it's, it's already like the taste is coating my mouth. So I'm like, dude, I just got to slam through the rest of them. So I'm putting these like god awful tasting pieces of sushi in my mouth. And it's so rancid. Like the fake fish combined with the RSO, I'm gagging. But I'm chugging water to force down my gags. Like I'm like, bro, this is awful. I'm torturing myself. I better get stupid fucking high for this, right? So I down all my sushi. And then I just wait, right? I hop on my RuneScape, I, I game a little bit, and I schedule my live stream. So my live stream would take place uh, about two hours after I ate the sushi, right? And edibles take a very long time to hit me, a very long time. So that two hours went by, and I go live, and I'm, like, not really feeling it, right? Like, I'm, like, getting there. I'm, like, like I felt different, but I, I wasn't stoned. And I was starting to get a little worried, you know? I, even though I know that I take, like, three hours to feel edibles at least, like, two and a half, I still tweak whenever it hits the two-hour mark. Like, I'm still like, oh, I got scammed, you know? So I'm sitting there on stream, and I'm just chatting. And all of a sudden... I just, like, I, I, I don't remember doing this at the time, but I actually went back and rewatched the VOD, like, the day after. Bro. Oh, my fucking God. Now, listen, I said some irresponsible shit this stream, so I had to, I had to delete the fucking shit. <laughs> I was so stoned. I was saying some political shit. Listen, I was saying things that should never be said. But either way, so I, I'm on this stream, and the shit just smacks me, right? And I remember, I like... I'm sitting in my chair, and I start almost getting, like, nauseous from how, like, body high I'm getting. I, like, I felt like I was actually, like, G-Force was applying to me, and I was being, like, pin Like, I felt like I was almost stuck to my chair, but being thrown through the air at the same time, you know? Like, it felt like someone strapped me in and sent me flying through a catapult, bro, right? I'm trying so hard to talk to chat, but it gets to the point where I can't even comprehend what these fuckers are saying. Like, I'm barely functioning. My eyes are so low. And that never really happens for me when I smoke. Like, when I smoke and even when I dab, right? I don't really get red eyes. But this shit, it looked like I just went to Young Thug's funeral. I was sobbing, dude. I was absolutely teary-eyed out of my mind, right? It was horrible, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, not horrible. It was, it was fucking lit. But eye-wise, dude, holy shit. But I'm sitting there, and the only thing I could think is like, dude, holy fuck. Fuck. And I remember, like, telling chat over and over, I was like, guys, I'm so fucking ripped right now. Any of you guys who are here for this stream, if there's anything I left out, because the details, you know, I stream every day, dude, so I'm not going to remember every detail of every stream. If there's any, like, funny moments from that stream I left out, dude, comment about it, bro. Comment about the shit. But either way, I'm fucked up, dude. So I go on through this live stream, right? I'm chilling. I go on through this live stream. And, and finally, I end the live stream. But the night's just getting started. Like, I only stream for, like, an hour, hour and a half. Then I get off and realize, like, oh, yeah, I'm high as fuck. So I stand up for the first time since the shit hit me after finishing my stream. And it's just like I, I just jumped into a fucking pool, bro. Like, I stand up and I just, I just get hit with this full body, like, oh, you know, like this holy fuck, dude. And I'm sitting there. And I'm like, just my whole body feels like it's just pulsing, dude. I'm so stoned, I'm out of my fucking mind, bro. I Like, I don't think I've ever been this high, quite honestly. This might be the highest I've ever been, dude. Looking back on it, like, oh my fucking god, right? So I go downstairs and I pop open my freezer, right? And I have the Great Value Hot Pockets in there. Now listen... Controversial take, Great Value Hot Pockets, better than name brand, and they're way cheaper. They're like half the price. They're literally like a buck sixty for a box of two of them, dude. Cannot go wrong. I slap both of them hoes in the microwave, dude. I start chugging waters like a fucking animal, dude. I start chugging waters like Bear Grylls, fresh out of the fucking Sahara, dude. I'm slamming these shits like an absolute dehydrated madman in my kitchen, dude. There's water running down my chin. My eyes are red. They look like I'm crying. The microwave's fucking going. If anyone walked in on this, they would think, damn, this is the worst, like, midlife crisis I've ever seen. Dude's microwave in great value hot pockets. His eyes are watering and he's slamming waters and he's in his underwear like damn this guy's fucked right oh yeah i did i didn't add that part but as soon as i got off stream i just ripped my clothes off bro i don't know why i just wanted to be comfier so i was like yeah bro we'll walk we'll cruise around the boxes for the day you know what i'm saying so my hot pockets and i go back upstairs i lay in my fucking bed i'm sitting on my bed and i remember i'm so high that one of the things i'm watching right is i'm watching i actually went and impulse bought the game after this 
Uh, but I'm watching Cabela's gameplay, like the hunting game, because I had some, like, nostalgia trip. Because back when I was a little kid, I used to go to my neighbor's house and play this Cabela's hunting game on, like, PS2. And it was a blast. And for some reason, when I was this high, I was having that nostalgia trip. So I'm sitting there watching, like, no commentary gameplay footage of dudes shooting fucking lions on, like, a 15-year-old game. Just having the time of my fucking life, bro. Like, honestly, if you guys go through, like, Cabela's PS2 YouTube videos, you might even find me getting lit in the comments from, like, a couple months back, bro. Like, Jesus, fuck, dude. So I'm sitting there watching Cabela's videos, right? And then... I do something that I haven't done since the Xanax serial video. For those of you guys who remember that video, the Xanax and Raisin Brand Crunch video, I have this thing where, like, sometimes when I get really sent, I want to play The Sims. Sims is a game that I only play when I'm off my fucking rocker, dude. Like, I have to be stupid fucked up. It's a game that I only play when I'm that sent because I can't comprehend any other games. But Sims I understand because it's just people being people, you know? So even though I'm wasted, I still know how people are, you know? But, like, everything else I can't comprehend. So I, I immediately, I get on my PC, right? And I forget that on this computer I have a nice little pirated copy of The Sims 4. So I pop open my Origin, and I try to launch The Sims 4, and they're like, oh, yeah, you have to, you have to fucking purchase it, because it shows up in my library because it's pirated, right? And I'm tweaking out, and I'm like, oh, my fucking God, dude. I do Where's my Sims, dude? So I buy The Sims 4 immediately, bro. Buy the fuck out of it. I'm pretty sure I bought a bunch of different DLCs, too. Just some ridiculous shit. Make a character, play the fucker for, like, maybe an hour. Got off, laid in bed. My intent was to continue watching Cabela videos, but that didn't happen. I crashed. I was out. But the craziest part about it is that after I crashed, right, after my, my very stoned uh, Hot Pocket Cabela's YouTube and Sims 4 purchasing session, uh, I then proceeded to go to bed, wake up the next day, and I was still left over high, dude. Not, like, as intensely, but I definitely did not wake up sober. Like, I woke up feeling like I was a little bit stoned still, you know? Which, low-key, was fucking sick. I was very happy about it, but hey... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, what is the highest dosage edible you've ever taken? Hey, this was my highest dose I've ever done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, we'll get that 2,000 milligram going soon, dude. I had a lot of fun off the 1,600. Honestly, the highest I've been in recent memory, and possibly the highest I've ever been if I really sat down and thought about it. But hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.